This whole story would begin when Goku was fighting against Jiren, after the victory of the android number 17. Several days would have passed. In those days, the kings of everything were talking about the great skills that Goku showed in the Tournament of Power. Without a doubt, Goku was the warrior that stood out the most in this tournament. To see him dominate the power of the gods was incredible. I didn't even think that a mortal like our friend Goku could reach so far. At that moment, Zeno of the present was thinking something. Hey, do you know why we did this tournament? Well, I don't know. What was the reason? The real reason was to look for a replacement to rule the 12 universes. We have been in this position for a long time. It is time to rest and leave the position to Goku. I like your thinking. Goku would be the best candidate to our replacement. Besides, he's a mortal with a pure heart. Zeno would call the angel Daishinkan to inform him of everything he was thinking. He is only a mortal. I don't think he has what it takes for that position. At that moment, Daishinkan would think, I've wanted that position for a long time. I've been waiting for you to leave your position so I could be the king of everything. Why should you give it to someone like him? Damn it! Daishinkan, do you oppose our decision? Goku will be a replacement whether you like it or not. The only thing that interests me is to play. I'm not interested in controlling the 12 universes. If you say so, great Zeno, I will listen to you. At this moment, I will go to look for the same Goku to bring him to the palace. On the way, I will inform him of everything. It's okay, I will be waiting for you. Daishinkan would fly to Universe 7 at great speed. Meanwhile, on Earth, Goku and Vegeta were fighting to see who was the strongest. While Whis and Beerus were enjoying the delicious food of the Earth, Mr. Beerus, I love the food of Earth. It has such a fascinating taste. I know, Whis. Please bring us more food. Suddenly, while Whis was eating, he would have felt an extremely strong presence. So, getting serious. What's wrong, Whis? Why did you stop eating? It's such a waste that you don't eat the food of this planet. Mr. Beerus, my father is approaching at great speed. Beerus at that moment would have thrown the food on the ground, so he would have become very nervous. Are you serious? The great priest is coming to Earth? Now what the hell did Goku do? If he comes personally, it means that we are in big trouble. The only thing left to do is to wait to see what he will say. While Beerus speaks in a very nervous way, Daishinkan would come to Earth making us shake a little by his arrival. Beerus would get down on his knees at the sight of Daishinkan, while Vegeta and Goku would continue fighting. Hey you guys, what are you supposed to be doing still fighting? Come down at once and bow. Vegeta would have knelt down while Goku, with his way of being, would have simply greeted the angel. Beerus seeing this would give him a small blow on the head and then put him on his knees. And tell me, great Daishinkan, what brings you to this humble planet? Did Goku do something wrong? He did nothing wrong, but you are not as wrong as you think. The reason why I came to Universe 7 is because Zeno-sama has a very important matter to talk to Goku. What matters could Zeno-sama have with Goku? God of Destruction, is that if I tell you that you would not believe it? But let's say that the great Zeno said that Goku would be his new replacement. He no longer wants to rule the 12 universes. He wants Goku to be the new king of everything. Daishinkan would say this with a very serious face. Beerus, along with the others, would be very shocked. Is he serious? This must be a joke! Zeno-sama said that Goku would be the new king of everything. I can't believe all this. I couldn't believe it either. But it's true, he said it recently. Apparently he was talking to the other Zeno about all this. And tell me, Goku, what do you think about all this? I don't know what to think. I, I never thought that Zeno would choose me as his new replacement. I really can't accept. I prefer to simply train and become stronger. Mr. Goku, even if you don't want to, you have to accept. No one can disobey Zeno's orders. Otherwise, you run the risk that your whole universe will be eliminated. The best thing you can do is accept this great opportunity. Goku wouldn't say anything at that moment because he was so confused. I still did not believe what the angel said was true. Suddenly, they all left together with the angel for the palace of the great Zeno. At that moment, the two Zeno were waiting for Goku sitting on their thrones. When they saw Goku, they got up immediately to give him a hug. Goku, you have finally come. You heard what Daishinkan told you? Now you will be my replacement and you will rule the 12 universes. I know you will do a great job. But Zeno, I can't accept it. It is too much pressure for me. 
Zeno would make an angry face. What did you say, Goku? Can you repeat it again? Beerus seeing all this would have covered Goku's mouth. Excuse me, great Zeno. He said he would gladly accept the position. God, that's what I thought. Because if you said no, I would think of erasing several universes. Goku would think, Damn it, I don't want this position. But I have no choice. The life of all the universes depends on me. Daishinkan, I want you to bring all the angels and gods. Today we will have a ceremony to crown Goku as the next king of everything. And in that ritual I plan to give him my powers to erase the universes. But great Zeno, if you do that your life will be in danger. That really doesn't matter to me. Now all I want is to rest in peace. To play without worries for all eternity. At that moment Daishinkan would go to the other universes to invite the gods to the ceremony. Beerus, who was waiting for the ceremony to start, would think, So really, Goku will be the new king of everything? But if Zeno dies, his power would be given to Goku. Goku can be a little immature, but Zeno is much more so. Really, now destruction awaits us, but I can't stop this. It only remains to see what will happen from now on. The future can be very uncertain. The hours and minutes would have passed. Finally, the ceremony would have begun. The twelve gods, along with their angels, were watching what was happening. While in their minds a thousand things were happening at that moment. Most of these gods were not in favor. It was something very risky. But what could they do at that moment? If they just said something, they could be eliminated in the blink of an eye. Goku would be walking where the two Zeno. Our moment as kings of all is over. Now is the time for you, Goku, to start ruling these universes. I know that with you, peace will reign. Before we say goodbye, we want to give you the greatest power of all, and that is the power to eliminate everything at your whim. Suddenly, in the palm of Zeno hand, a white ball of energy could be seen. In this ball could be seen the galaxies and stars. Goku, at the moment of feeling the power of this small ball of energy, would have been very scared. What kind of power is this? It does not make any sense. In my life, I had felt something like this. So this is the true power of the great Zeno, if that is something amazing. Before we lose our lives, I will tell you a secret before receiving my position as king of everything. Before there was someone else who ruled the 12 universes. He was my master. When my master had reached his limit and was about to lose his life, he would give me what I was giving you. But before giving it to me, he warned me of one thing. And the only way for me to get that power was to have a pure heart and the only way to do it was to become a child. I think you are someone with a pure heart. You have already proved it a lot. You're incredible, Zeno, to think that before giving me your power, you were able to recover your conscious and your old memories. If that is your wish, I will do it like your master did. Zeno would give the power to Goku. When he gave him his power, his body would have disappeared instantly, along with the body of the Zeno of the future. Goku would start touching his head and then put his hand on the ground. What's wrong with me? My eyesight is blurring. My body is not holding all this power. I feel like it's going to explode at any moment. But I can't give up. I have to endure it no matter what it takes. Goku would start to scream from the pain. Suddenly, an aura would have begun to cover the Saiyan's body. Goku would start to fly through the air, while a big aura would fall on him. I must be able to control this power. The would try to compress the power in his body, concentrating as much as possible. At that moment, his hair would have grown a lot, getting a very strange transformation. He had long hair, but it was white. Goku, at the moment of getting the transformation, could barely speak. His body was doing its best not to explode because of so much power. At that moment, a golden light would illuminate the whole palace. A big text would start to show. In that text, it would say, Congratulations to all. A new king has been born, and his name is Goku. The gods would see this and would kneel before Goku, as they knew how impressive he was. The Saiyan would walk to his lathe to sit down, while his two guardians were waiting for him. Congratulations, Goku, for being the new king of everything. And now, what is going to happen? Do you have a new order? When Goku was about to say something, he would have spit out some blood, thus fainting to lose the transformation. Daishinkan, upon seeing this, would grab Goku's body. Sir Goku is fine. Damn it, he can't die yet. If he dies, the power that Zeno gave him will be completely gone. Daishinkan would have analyzed Goku's body, realizing that his organs were very damaged. Apparently, Goku still couldn't control his new power as a king at all. 
His body is between life and death. I must save him at all costs. Daishinkan would begin to use his power as an angel, thus beginning to heal the internal wounds of Goku. After having healed his wounds, the other gods, who were upset and confused, would begin to complain to the angel. How is this possible? Now, Goku is the strongest being of all the universes? Without a doubt, we have to do something. We cannot stay with our hands crossed. This is something totally unfair. Gods and angels, I know that all this is something new, but don't worry. If someone opposes to all this, I won't intervene. You are free to claim him or use your strength. You only have to wait a week until he wakes up. Attacking him with his guard down is cowardly. Without further ado, you who are waiting to get out of here, go do your work like gods. Vegeta along with Beerus and Whis would have returned to Universe 7, but this time they would go to the planet of the Destroyer God. Once there, they would all stay there without saying a word, since everything had happened so fast. Whis, a question? Now that Kakra is the new king of everything, it means that he is the strongest of all. Will I never be able to surpass him? It is not so true that, Vegeta. Now Goku is true that he received an enormous power and his appearance changed. But it will take him enough time to dominate the power as king of all. You do not see that his body is still very fragile. What will happen now is that the gods of destruction will try to end the life of Goku. Goku has to earn the respect of all. If he wants to rule the 12 universes, maybe a war is formed by the power that keeps inside his body. But that we cannot know yet. So, I can still overcome him, even though now he has become almost invincible. That's Vegeta. You have to train very hard. At that moment, Beerus would say, You know what, Whis? When the time comes, I will also face him. That he has such power is not the most appropriate. Meanwhile, the other gods. The god Vimalt was extremely angry. Because Zeno, why did you do that? That position had to be for one of my warriors. Or maybe for a god of destruction. We also tend to destroy things, but it's not too late. The Saiyan of Universe 7 almost exploded because of the power that Zeno left him. It's only a matter of time to wait a week, and when the week passes, I will go to claim him. The Twelve Gods of Destruction thought in a very similar way, since in their selfish desire, they could not let Goku be the new king of everything. A week would have passed, and Goku had started to open his eyes, but by the time he did, his head would start to hurt little rays of energy would start to come out of his body, thus having a flashback. Goku would be in a place where you could see all 12 universes together. Where am I supposed to be? I'm sure I just woke up, after utilizing the great power of Zeno, because even though I'm in space, I can be able to breathe. Suddenly, a very imposing being would have made his presence known. Wow, so you are the new king of everything. Yes, that is impressive. Someone as young as you already having that position? Who are you? Tell me, where am I? This place is just a parallel world that exists inside your body, able to connect your current consciousness with the world. As you master the power of elimination, you will unlock specific memories that you may want to know, and also new skills that may be useful in the future. As this is a place where your body does not wear out, you may be able to use your power to the maximum. How about having a fight with me? so you can see what awaits you in the future. If you manage to give me a fight, I will tell you a secret that may be of interest to you. If what you say is true, my body can't be damaged in this place, so I can activate the power of the king of everything. Goku would start to increase his ki, giving a loud scream, and then transform into his form as the king of everything. Well, what are you waiting for? Fight me! Goku would throw himself against the mysterious guy, and then kick him in the face but the guy would have stopped him with only one hand, and then grabbed Goku's leg. Starting to spin around to later release it with great force, Goku would crash with seven planets, but his body would still be intact. Goku with the seven planets with which he would have crashed would have started to use mental power so that those seven planets would start to fly around him. How about this? Goku would start to throw those planets as if they were simple stones against the subject. But the subject who saw the planets approaching him would only cover himself with both hands. Goku clenched his fists in this way, causing the planets to compress. The planets would begin to touch their core. All seven planets would have exploded at once. The subject had been caught in the explosion. Goku taking advantage of the smoke from the huge explosion would fly quickly to hit him in the stomach. The subject would stop Goku's blow, but Goku would start hitting him over and over again. Because this power is so incredible, I can't understand it. I can do whatever I want. 
Goku's fist would be filled with white energy. This energy would impact on the subject's ribs, causing them to crash into a nearby planet. Wow, how that Saiyan can understand how to use the power of the king of everything. Although he is very young, he's not bad at all. In a real fight, maybe he would have been hurt. The guy would give a single round of applause, causing Goku to lose his transformation as the king of everything. You didn't do too bad, but if I wanted to, I would have finished you off with one punch. Why did my power disappear? Don't worry, it only disappeared from here. I control everything in this place. But imagine, I only gave you a taste of 25% of the power you have. Before I leave, I will tell you the secret I promised you. I just want you to know that you're not alone. Maybe you think that your power is great, but there are stronger beings. That's all I can tell you. The being would have disappeared. Goku would regain consciousness. What was all that supposed to be? Who was he, the... Goku would sit on his bed to reflect on everything that was happening to him. Zeno, your death will not be in vain. I will do everything possible to be the best replacement. And now that I know that there are strong beings, that makes me very happy. Daishinkan would have knocked on the door. So, finally wake you up. Yes, you slept a lot. And tell me now, what will you do? I guess I'll go train. I must master this new power, whatever it costs me. I understand. But before I do, you have a little visitor. Who is supposed to visit me now? Goku would come out of the palace, so he would get a surprise. It's you, God Velmo. Now that I'm the new ruler, you shouldn't do your job as a destroyer god. You think I'm going to listen to a mortal like you, who isn't even capable of controlling the power of the great Zeno? I haven't even been recovered for two hours, and already have people who oppose my becoming the new king? I know it wouldn't be easy, but if you chose me it must be for a reason. The guardians would have looked at him with an angry face but Goku would have stopped them. I don't need anyone to defend me. I'll take care of this god myself. <laughs> you're a little confident, but I want to see what you're made of. Goku had transformed into Super Saiyan Blue. The god Velmu would have increased his Akai power. The two beings would have launched one against the other, thus starting a fist clash, where you could only see the aura of these two subjects. But the god Velmu would have the advantage, since he had more combat experience. The fist clash would be won by Velmu, thus hitting Goku's face. That's the best thing you have, you king of everything. You're just trash. Velmu would have charged more than 10 spheres of Hakai energy to begin to contain Goku in one of those 10 spheres. The energy spheres would be launched against the Saiyan. Goku could barely dodge them. One of those spheres would have impacted against the Saiyan, but he would not be trapped inside the sphere. Only his clothes would burn a little and he had some wounds. I see that you're very resistant. Maybe it is because of your new power. The god would begin to give blows and kicks to Goku, but Goku would dodge them with great difficulty. It is impressive the power that this god has, but now I am the new king of everything. If I can't beat him, I'll simply be a mockery for the others. Goku would move at high speed in order to throw a Kamehameha to the god Velmu. The Kamehameha would be enhanced to three times more. The energy attack would be launched against the god Velmu but the god would create a ball of energy that would absorb the attack of Goku, causing it to become much larger. I see that you lack much more experience. The god Velmu would return his attack to Goku. The attack would impact against the Saiyan. Goku would be trapped in that great attack and starting to scream, his transformation as Super Saiyan Blue had been lost. But thanks to the attack that the god Velmu launched, he could recover again the transformation of the mastered Ultra Instinct. The god Velmu would start to laugh, <laughs> that was all you had, new king of everything? No doubt you're just a talker, because you did not let your guardians protect you. You insolent, how dare you laugh at the death of the king of everything? You will pay the punishment for such grave insolence. You can't do anything to me. He himself ordered not to protect him. If you lay a hand on me, you would be disobeying his rules. But he is the king of everything. We couldn't protect him. We failed in our job of protecting him. Now that I have defeated him, it means that I will be the new king of everything. <laughs> From the shadows, a voice would be heard, very annoying. Stop laughing! You are not going to be the god of anything. Because at this moment, I will end your life. It can't be possible. I ended his life. Was consumed by his own attack. Goku would have appeared using his transformation again. But unlike the Tournament of Power, this transformation was much more powerful. Because even though Zeno's powers was about destruction, 
for some reason, he had a lot of affinity with that transformation. Don't go and boost your ego too much. I ended your life. But if I have to do it twice, I will do it again. The god Velmi would put energy in his hand to create a kind of very sharp knife. I'm going to cut you into pieces. But Goku would dodge the attack by giving him a blow in the stomach, which would cause the god Velmi to spit a little blood. It can't be. After so many years, I'm spitting blood? And the worst thing is it, it was by a mortal? I, I just can't accept it. Goku would be hitting them as if you were simple trash. The roles had been completely exchanged, but the god Velmu, who had a very big pride, would be able to grab Goku's fists and then kick him. Goku would have retreated. I see that you're able to at least make me back down. Velmu would be very tired. I am a god. If I'm going to lose my life to you, I must at least give it all. I won't give you my life so easily. The god Velmu would begin to increase his power to the maximum. The whole palace would be filled with a purple key, thus producing great waves of heat. Saiyan, you will know the true power of the Destroyer God! Saiyan, you will know the true power of the Destroyer God. Lightning would begin to fall all over the palace, leaving Goku a little surprised. So this is your true power. I think this is the first time I've seen the ultimate power of a Destroyer God. It's certainly terrifying. Velmu would be filled with a purple key, making most of the Destroyer Gods feel his power in the distance. Meanwhile, on the planet of Beerus. What's going on? It's only been a week, and I already feel the power of a God of Destruction at its peak? Whis, tell me, who is the one fighting right now? As you see, Mr. Beerus, the angel would have pulled out his staff, thus putting a picture of what was going on in the palace of Zenosama. I see. So the god Velma was the first to reveal himself against Goku. I'm not surprised. And tell me, Mr. Beerus, what are you going to do about it? Are you going to intervene in the fight? I really don't plan to do anything yet. If that god is capable enough, he will defeat Goku. And if he doesn't, the only thing that awaits him will be death. In any case, if he wants to claim the position as king of everything, I could take it away from him. Resuming the battle, Saiyan, now I find myself very angry. Prepare to lose your life. Velmu, with his maximum power, would stand in front of Goku to hit him. Goku would stop the blow and then retreat. The god would create two Hakai energy balls to throw them against the Saiyan. But, unlike the other times, although Goku dodges the energy balls, this god would be using mental power to chase the Saiyan. Goku would try to stop the energy balls Hakai, thus charging in the same way two energy balls in the palm of his hand. But, Goku's attack would be consumed, thus the two energy balls Hakai would become much bigger. While Goku was trying to escape from the energy balls, Vamut would get in front of him to hit him in the chest. Goku would be thrown to the ground, while the God of Destruction would have dodged his own attack. The two attacks would go against a Saiyan, but the angry one would say, Enough games, God! You think you can play with me? It's true that now you became much stronger, but don't underestimate my power. While Goku was saying that, the two balls of Akai energy would have stuck to his hand, thus devouring his hands little by little. Damn it! At what moment those two things stuck to me? Now I can't get this energy out of my hands! <laughs> That's what you get for talking. As you said, you can repeat it. Don't forget that you are a mere mortal. You will never be able to overcome a god. Your body will be consumed little by little by the Hakai power. And you, even if you have the power of Zeno, even that won't be able to save you. The Hakai energy would begin to consume the Saiyan's arms. From one moment to the next, Goku would have lost both of his hands. Goku's two hands were consumed by the Hakai power. This power would have disappeared, thus leaving Goku as a cripple. The god would think, my power has a limit to destroy. From what I'm seeing, if he doesn't have the power of Zeno, I would have destroyed his body completely. But that doesn't matter anymore. Now he's just someone without arms. It will be very difficult for him to fight. The god would throw himself against the Saiyan, giving him a beating. I can't do anything. I've lost my arms. I can't be able to defend myself from his attacks. The god Velmu would grab Goku's neck. What happened, Goku? Why don't you fight like you were doing before? The Saiyan's breathing was getting shorter. A guard who was watching what was happening would say, I can't allow this. 
The new god of everything is being humiliated by a god, and I'm just watching and doing nothing? I have to do something. The guard would have launched an energy ball at the god Velmu, but Daishinkan would have deflected it with one hand. Remember what the god Velmut said, you can't intervene in this fight. If you do, the king himself won't forgive you. The Saiyans are very proud beings. Although he is about to die, he will not ask you for help. I can't be able to do anything, but I can't lose my life. I have to get out of here as soon as possible, but what can I do now? Goku at that moment would have remembered what that strange being told him. It's true, inside my body is that guy. If I can connect my consciousness now, I could ask him how I can recover my arms. Goku, despite the pain he felt at that moment, he could connect his consciousness with that parallel world. Hey, I don't know what your name is, but I need you to help me. I'm about to lose my life. So you came to this place again. I don't know how you were able to do it. Your abilities are really amazing. And tell me, what are you looking for? I need you to tell me if there is a way to revert the Hakai energy. As you can see, I lost my arms, and I can't be able to do any technique. So you need just that? It's a very easy answer to answer. Normally I would refuse to say it, but when you used your form as Mastered Ultra Instinct, your compatibility with the power of the King of Everything has risen quite a lot. The only way to reverse the Hakai energy is with the energy of the angels. You just need to cover your whole body with angel energy. For you, it will be very easy since you have the power of the king of everything. When you manage to run that energy throughout your body, eventually the remains of Hakai energy will leave your body, making your arms are completely rebuilt. See you soon and good luck. I think you'll need it. The guy would have given a clap, thus returning Goku's consciousness to his original body. Once Goku had awakened, he would have started to scream. His body would be filled with a thin layer of white ki. The god, even though he didn't feel any increase in power, would have let go of Goku's neck, thus taking a step backwards. What the hell's wrong with that Saiyan? Out of nowhere he started to scream, he really is very annoying. The god would put his hand in front of Goku to eliminate him completely. But when he was about to eliminate him, Goku's body would start to glow. His arms that had just been lost would have been completely reconstructed. It can't be. What that guy told me worked. But what the hell happened? How were you able to recover your arms? God, I will return all the hits I received. When Goku was going against the god, the god would only smile. And then he would say, Hakai. Goku's body would be filled with Hakai power again. But this energy would have simply vanished from his body. Did you think that would work? Your power no longer has any effect against me. Because my power as a destroyer god doesn't work against him. Did he somehow discover the weakness of that Kai power? I see that only death awaits me, but if I'm going to die at least, I will take him with me to hell. I see what you're going to do, but I won't allow that. Goku would hit him with his elbow and then kick him in the face. While the god was being thrown into the air, he would stop in mid-air, getting as close as possible to Goku so that he would at least be in range of the explosion. I don't plan to lose my life yet. The god would be about to explode, but Goku would charge a Kamehameha with the power he had left. This great attack would impact against the god, thus moving him away from Zenosama's palace. Before the god exploded, he would say, I really never thought I would be eliminated by a mere mortal. I promise you that my soul will haunt you eternally. Velma would have exploded. The explosion would have destroyed several planets, and apart from that would completely shake the palace of Goku. Goku would be a spectator. In the distance, he would see how several planets would be affected by the explosion. Suddenly, the key of the god Velmu would have disappeared completely. In the end, I could beat him. No doubt I still lack much power if I want to reach the top. I will have to trade much more. Zeno, I will not disappoint you. Goku would return to his base state and walk back to his guardians. I want to know what happens when the god of destruction dies. Answering that question, his body completely disappears from existence and possibly the most powerful person in his universe will be the new god of destruction. I understand, so that's what's going to happen to his soul. Anyway, I need to take a rest. This fight has left me without energy. Goku would have entered the palace again to rest and recover his energy again. Dear daughter, now that your god of destruction lost his life, 
What do you plan to do? That he ended the life of the god Velmer. I was quite fond of him, but I cannot do anything against him. An angel should never fight against a king at all. I guess I'll just look for a replacement. Father, I promise that the next time we see each other, I will make the next god, destroyer of Universe 11, defeat the Saiyan Goku. <laughs> Daughter, I'll be waiting for that moment eagerly. Margarita would leave the place to reach the Universe 11. Once she reached the Universe 11, she would make a meeting with all the people who participated in the Tournament of Power. Angel Margarita, because you have called us here, and percent where is the Lord Valmu? Tapo, that's what I want to talk to all of you about. The god Velmu was eliminated by the Saiyan of Universe 7, Goku. Perhaps many of you do not believe me, but one week ago he was crowned as the new king of everything. Are you serious, Margarita? This must be a bad joke. The Lord Velmu could not lose his life. Jiren, I I'm not lying to you, it is the reality. Jiren would have hit the ground with a lot of force, leaving a big crater, and then increasing his power little by little while tears came out of his eyes. That bastard will pay for this! Jiren was about to leave the place, but Margarita would have stopped him. Jiren, you better stop and don't do anything stupid. Lord Velmu is dead and that's something you'll have to accept sooner or later. I'm sorry, Margarita. I won't accept what you're saying. I see. Then you leave me no choice. Margarita would knock Jiren out in one move. What happened to Jiren? Did you hurt him? Don't worry. He's fine. He's just unconscious. Listen, everyone. From now on, Jiren will be the new god, destroyer of Universe 11. If we can make Jiren stronger, he can defeat Goku, since he's the only hope to avenge his death. It's a pity that I can't do anything, since I'm an angel. The divine laws wouldn't allow me to do so. It's only a matter of time before Jiren becomes powerful and defeats Goku. His job will be to help Jiren in everything he needs. Very well. We are going to do it. Meanwhile, on the planet of Beerus, Wiss would think, Times of wars are approaching. With the death of the god Valmu, everything is becoming chaos. I really want to see what Goku will do to face all this. I need to become stronger than Kakarot. I can't let him surpass me. I need to become stronger than Kakarot. I can't let him surpass me. Wiss, I need you to keep training me. I need to become strong as fast as possible. I understand your need, Vegeta. But to get strong, you will have to wait a bit. Minimum two years. That much time can't be possible. I don't have all that time, and you know it. You said it yourself. By then, Kakarot will have mastered the king's power completely. Then my training won't do you much good. You can consult with Mr. Beerus. He has a very different fighting style than the angels. He also uses Hakai energy, the energy of destruction. You have a much tougher character than Goku, so I suggest you ask Mr. Beerus to train you himself. If you manage to master Hakai energy, you will surely face Goku quickly. Vegeta, upon hearing the words of Whis, would go to talk to Beerus to see if he could accept him as his student temporarily. What do you want, Vegeta? Right now, I'm not in the mood to listen to requests. In case you don't know, Goku already defeated a god of destruction, and even Goku has not been able to control all the power of Zeno. What awaits us in the future will be that all the gods of destruction will be eliminated by Goku. That's something I cannot accept. So go, as I said, because I'm not in the mood. Beerus was about to fly away from his planet, but Vegeta shouted very loudly. Wait, Mr. Beerus! If you accept me as your student, I promise you that we can finish Goku. Remember that we Saiyans have a lot of potential to increase our power. You just have to have the right training. Beerus, upon hearing the words of Vegeta, would have gone down to his planet. I certainly didn't expect that proposal from you. And tell me why you were going to betray someone of your race. Kakarot and I have never been good friends, but now this has become a necessity for all of us. If I don't do something for sure, all the multiverses will be in danger. Your answer pleases me very much. It's fine. You will be my new student. I hope that in a short time, you can beat Kakarot. How about now we start with the training? It won't be easy, so get ready. Vegeta would have transformed into a Super Saiyan Blue State in order to start fighting against Beerus, but this god was able to dodge his attacks very easily. 
With that speed you have, not being able to give me a single blow, you'll never be able to beat Goku. You really are pathetic. Don't underestimate me so easily! Vegeta would kick the god in the face, but again the god would dodge it. At that moment, the Beerus god would give him a small blow in the neck, which would make Vegeta fall to the ground very exhausted. My vision is going to be lost by a simple blow. If I can't withstand the blows of a god now, what awaits me when I face Kakarot? Vegeta, even though he was at his limit, would have stood up again, and then increased the little key he had left. If I fall now by the blows of a god, what awaits me in the future? My pride will not be able to give up now. Vegeta would start to fly at high speed, thus being able to confuse the god for a few seconds. But when he was about to give him a blow with the little strength he had left, the god would have grabbed him by the neck. But Vegeta would somehow put Ki in his hands to make them much stronger, managing to take off the hands of this god and then hit him in the face. Apparently I have been able to hit you. You're very surprising. I didn't expect it. I was certainly confident. But believe it or not, I'm a little angry. Beerus punched Vegeta in the stomach, causing the Saiyan to fall to the ground in a faint and lose his transformation. Lord Beerus, what just happened? You don't accept your defeat? <laughs> Apparently even gods can be a little proud. He did pretty good. He was very confident. This shows me how Vegeta does have a lot of potential. Meanwhile, in Goku's palace, Goku would find himself rested thus returning back to that parallel world. The battle I had against that god has left me very tired. I'll need time for my body to recover. I don't think you should rest so quietly when there are people and gods looking for your head. I know perfectly well, but I can't do much about it. So I want you to tell me what is the best method to control the power of the king of everything. That information is not available yet. Your compatibility with the power of the king of everything is still very low. So you have to find out for yourself. Wow, in that case, it doesn't seem to be that useful. Anyway, see you later, I have to train. Goku got out of bed to start his training. Hey Angel, I need to fight again with someone strong to awaken my potential. In the fight I had against that god, somehow my power increased quite a bit. So prepare a training camp similar to the power tournament, but much smaller and with a much stronger gravity. As you command, Mr. Goku. Dai Shinkan would begin to prepare again a place like that of the Tournament of Power. Several minutes would have passed when the Angel would have finally finished it. Lord Goku, the place is already finished. What do you think if you try it? Goku flew towards the new Power Tournament. This place seems to be very sturdy. The Saiyan would hit the ground with all his might, but it would still be intact. You have done very well, Angel. And tell me, Mr. Goku, who is going to be your opponent today? My opponent will be one of my guardians, so any of you guardians may be able to fight with me. The only requirement is not to hold back. I want you to fight with all your power. I understand what you are saying, so if it is not too much trouble, I will be your opponent. The guardian would have stood on the battlefield. Before fighting the Saiyan, the angel would have increased the gravity. Goku, who was in normal state, would have fallen to the ground on his knees, while the guardian was standing without any problem. My body is not able to move at all. I guess I'll go all out from the start. The Saiyan would have closed his eyes, thus activating the Mastered Ultra Instinct. Goku would move instead of the Guardian, thus getting on his back, to then throw a Kamehameha at him. But this Guardian would have stopped it with both hands, thus returning the attack to Goku. Then he was able to return my attack. I certainly have to be careful. The Guardian would start to make movements with his hands, so his fists would turn white. This blow would go against the Saiyan, but this one could barely be able to dodge it. The Guardian, despite this, would continue attacking Goku again and again, until the Saiyan exhausted his energy. Goku, by a carelessness, would have been impacted by the fist of the Guardian, thus being thrown meters away from the combat arena. That hit really hurt me a lot. This is the power that one of my Guardians has? Besides, the gravity of the place makes me slower and slower. On the other hand, it has no effect on him. While Goku was still thinking, the Guardian would have approached quickly to hit him again. But before the blow touched Goku, one of the Guardians who were watching the fight would have come down to the fighting arena to face him. Hey! How dare you attack the Master when he is on the ground with his guard down? That's being a scumbag! 
No doubt you don't deserve to be the master's guardian! Goku, who was on the ground, would have made a very annoyed face. He and I are having a fight. What happens to me is not your problem. I told him myself to face me with all his power. So please, get out of here, before you make me angry. The Guardian, upon hearing Goku's words, would leave the fighting arena to continue the fight between the two of them. The Guardian would launch himself at the Saiyan again, thus activating his Guardian Authority ability. Goku could not be able to move. He had fallen under the power of this powerful ability, which only high-ranking beings had. As he was a Guardian of the King of Everything, besides the pressure of the place was getting stronger and stronger. Master, you'd better give up now. If we keep fighting, I could hurt you. Goku, upon hearing those words, would not say anything. The only thing he would be doing at that moment was to apply a lot of force on the ground to move. The ground would break. Goku would fall deep into the ground. The Guardian would create a large ball of energy in the palm of his hand, so that this would be launched against Goku. The Saiyan would be about to receive the ball of energy, but this would have shouted that he was surrendering. The Guardian would automatically, after hearing Goku's words, would teleport in front of the energy ball to deflect it. I see that you have not been able to defeat me, Master. It seems that today I almost lost my life because of my pride. I still have a long way to go. Goku would return to his normal state, thus falling under the pressure of gravity. Even if I can't move, I'll stay here training. This fight helped me understand certain things. The other Guardians would leave along with the Angel, leaving the Saiyan alone. Goku would cross his legs and begin to meditate. While meditating his body was recovering little by little, an aura of energy would have left his body. Thus passing more than two weeks, Goku in those two weeks tried to enter his body in a tranquility mental to improve the power of the mastered ultra instinct. Now that I can raise my power much more, I will try to control the power of Zeno. Goku would put much of the power of Zeno in his body, but in doing so his body would start to burn uncontrollably. Damn it, I can't be able to control this power yet. How much time will I need to do it? I see that meditating doesn't work much. Now I just need to train with my guardian. It would have been more than a year. Goku in all that time would have trained with one of his guardians, thus being defeated many times. But he would have managed to increase his affinity with Zeno's power to 10%. I feel my power flowing more and more. Meanwhile, on the planet of Beerus, Vegeta would continue training with Beerus without taking any kind of rest, being able to obtain the Ultra Ego in only two months of training, thus achieving a 30% improvement during this last year. Vegeta, you have become very strong this year, but it is not enough to defeat Goku. But as we cannot waste any more time, I will tell you a method to obtain a power more beach than that of a god. Beerus would take Vegeta to one of his rooms, in this room, there were many treasures from different universes and planets. The god would start looking among the hundreds of treasures. Hey Wiss, you know where is that pill that that guy gave us that we wouldn't destroy his planet? Obviously I know where it is. I kept it in my staff, in case it got lost. The famous pill that could increase your power without any limit. I didn't think you would give it to a mortal. I didn't think you would give it to a mortal. I thought you would use it later, to increase your power, Mr. Beerus. I don't need to subject my body to that pill. Besides, we still don't know the effect it will have. I really don't want to risk my body for more power. But as you can see, Vegeta is willing to take that risk. If you say so, then don't blame yourself for what might happen. Here's the pill. Whis would have taken out the pill that was enclosed in a sphere of energy to put it in his hand. The angel would extend his hand to give the pill to the god. Wow, his essence is stronger than I remembered. Vegeta, as I promised, in my hands I have the way you can get the power of a god. Or a much stronger power. You are obviously going to be in a lot of pain, but I think that's something you can accept, as long as you beat Goku. I'm sure you're talking nonsense. I don't think there's something that can raise you to the top so fast. If you don't believe me, why don't you swallow this pill I have here in my hands? If you say so, fine, I'll do it. Vegeta would have grabbed the pill that was in the hands of the god, and then swallowed it. Suddenly, several seconds would have passed where the Saiyan felt absolutely nothing. 
You lied to me, Beerus. The thing you gave me, I don't feel any effect in my body. We're not for jokes. You have to be patient, Vegeta. I believe in the words of Whis. If he says that the pill you ate has a great power, it's because it's true. Well, it seems that Whis has lied. Vegeta would start to complain, but out of nowhere the Saiyan would have felt a great burning in his stomach. Vegeta would clench his stomach, while the sweat from the great heat he felt at that moment would not stop falling. What's wrong with my body? Help! I feel like I'm going to die! Vegeta would clench his hands while a great power began to leave his body. The planet of the god would be filled with an intense purple energy. The Saiyan would only start to scream while he obtained the transformation of the Ultra Ego. His hair would become a much darker shade than it usually has when he used that transformation. His eyes would turn red, while red rays came out of his body. Vegeta, while increasing his power, would begin to laugh loudly. <laughs> this was what I needed. I feel the power that surpasses a god runs through my body. My power has no limit. I have definitely become an invincible being. And not only that, I feel like my power does not stop increasing. You were right, Beerus. No doubt this is the power that surpasses everything that exists. Now I am ready to face Kakara. I knew this pill was powerful, but I didn't know how much power it had. For me to fight will be useless. Vegeta has surpassed my power. Then he will only be able to fight Goku. Whis, who is standing without saying anything, would think. This is amazing. Vegeta has really become so strong. It has been so many years since the last time I could feel such a great key. Now I just have to be a spectator of what is about to happen. Beerus, what are you waiting for? I'm becoming an unpatient person. I already want to eliminate Kakara. Don't worry, Vegeta. I won't make you wait too long. Whis, take us to the palace of the already deceased Zeno. As you say, sir. Whis would create an energy sphere, thus taking Vegeta and Beerus to Goku's palace. While they arrived at the palace, Goku, who was still training, would manage to feel that great presence of energy. What's going on? From who is this great power that I'm feeling? It's certainly not normal. And the worst thing is that it's heading here at great speed. Mr. Goku, by your reaction, I imagine that you could also feel that great power. You want us to take care of it? Ending this guy's life would not be a problem. Don't worry. Anyway, if things get complicated, I may need your help. Just be prepared for any situation. And before I forget, put a barrier around the palace. I need to know the level of strength that the subject has. As you say, Master. The guards would not take long to put the barrier all over the place. Minutes would pass, and finally, Vegeta would have arrived. A shout would echo throughout the place. Kakara, I'm back, and this time it was to eliminate you completely! So the person to whom this great power belonged was Vegeta? But how the hell did he become so strong? This does not have any kind of logic. Is he really the Vegeta I know? Vegeta, I see that you've changed a lot. I don't know what happened to you, but it will not be possible to eliminate me. No matter how strong you've become, I will not let you defeat me. First, you will have to pass that barrier if you want to put a hand on top. I see that everyone has ambition for power since I became the new king. Only misfortunes have reigned on me. Maybe today is the day I eliminate the person who considered him as a friend. You think this barrier can stop me? Well, if you think you are so, you are very wrong. Vegeta began to hit the barrier again and again. Each blow he made made the place tremble, and the more time passed, the barrier became weaker and weaker. He is really succeeding. He's managing to break that barrier formed by divine power. Vegeta would charge a ball of energy in his hand, thus managing to destroy the barrier, and then get in front of Goku. If you're going to lose your life today, at least fight with everything you've got. Goku would use the mastered Ultra Instinct, so these two would begin to fight all over the palace. They moved at a very fast speed. Vegeta would take a swing at Goku, but Goku would dodge it with great difficulty. But suddenly, Goku would receive a kick in the stomach by the Saiyan. Goku would touch his stomach in pain, but Vegeta would finish him off with both hands to hit him in the head. Goku would fall to the ground, but he would still be standing. Because I can't be able to dodge his attacks, 
My power increased to 10%. I should be stronger than him. The battle time would drag on, where every time Goku wanted to try to stop Vegeta's attack, to try to defend himself, but it was something useless. What does it feel like to be humiliated? And you can't do anything about it. You really are a stupid Kakara. You thought you would be the strongest, and no one could face you? Why don't you shut the fuck up? Goku would charge energy into the palm of his hand so that it would hit Vegeta's face. But Vegeta would have deflected the ball of energy. You thought of using that to make me lose my vision. That won't work on me. Goku would start to fly around the palace, thinking of a way for Vegeta to stay still so he could hurt him. That moment, Goku would remember his training place, where the gravity was very strong. Goku would arrive at the training place. Vegeta, who would not notice, would have entered the place. My body feels much heavier than usual. Perhaps you were training with so much gravity. No doubt now you are no longer mortal, but this will not stop me. Vegeta would try to move, but when he moved, he no longer did it at the speed of before. Now he was a little slower. Goku would take advantage of that to be able to hit him. Suddenly the Saiyan would use a technique that his guardian taught him. Goku would move his hands like this taking out white energy. The famous technique called restriction of the guardian. The person who was prey of this power could not be able to move. And besides, the longer he was restricted under the power of the technique, he would lose more power. Vegeta, you'd better surrender under this gravity. Coupled with the power of this technique can no longer do anything. Vegeta has lost so fast against Goku. That's impossible. Maybe he is not showing his full power yet. I refuse to accept that he is going to lose. But Mr. Beerus, that wasn't the same technique in which the most powerful people and God stopped moving and then died. It's as if Vegeta was falling into a spider's nest and fell prey to its web. But you're right. I felt that the power of that pill was much more than what Vegeta is demonstrating. Suddenly, the place would turn red, thus feeling a strong killer energy. You think you have really defeated me? You think I'm going to fall under your hands? What are you talking about, Vegeta? You can't do anything, and be thankful that I haven't eliminated you yet. You're so delusional. Vegeta would increase his power, causing the sky to turn red. The rays coming out of his body would have turned into small hands. From Vegeta's mouth would come out smoke, so the famous power of restraint was completely vanishing. Vegeta would be moving little by little. This is bad. How could he be able to move? It's impossible. The technique that I myself showed the master should have been enough. No doubt we must intervene. Stop. Don't do anything. As I always tell you, these are my fights. If something more serious happens, you know what to do. Vegeta was released from the restraint to grab Goku's head and slam it to the ground. Goku somehow manages to get out of Vegeta's hands to quickly get off that place with the gravity so increased. Kakura, you look like a mouse. You're always running away from me. Why don't you stay still for once? Vegeta would use the red rays that were all over his body, thus trapping Goku's hands and feet. I've been totally trapped, and I have no way to defeat him. Maybe if I increase the power that Zeno gave me, I can do it. But the problem is that my body is at its limit. And if I ask that guy for help, I can't do that. I have already depended a lot on his help. The only thing I have left to do is what I thought at first. My body is at its limit, but I have to get out of this. A white energy began to flow throughout Goku's body again. The Saiyan was trying to increase his power quickly in order to beat Vegeta. But what he didn't know was that by doing so, his body would be suffering great consequences. Again, I feel this burning. Unlike last time, I must be more tolerant to pain. Goku increased his power with great difficulty, trying to escape from the red rays. But in doing so, he would be suffering a great discharge of energy. But Goku did not care about that. Master, it would be better for him to stop. If those rays keep attacking his body, he may lose consciousness. Maybe when he wakes up, he won't be the same again. The guardian who was watching what happened would throw himself towards Vegeta to punch him in the face. Vegeta would fly far away from there, crashing against the walls of the palace. But the Saiyan would get up, almost without any wound. Master, don't you realize that the more you stick to those beams, no matter how much you raise your power, those beams will absorb it. You're only hurting yourself. Saiyan, 
we will pay for messing with the master. The four guardians would have entered the combat arena, thus surrounding the Saiyan. The four together would carry a great amount of energy in their hands. You do not know who I am. I am now a being of unlimited power. Vegeta would likewise carry a final flash. We'll see about that. Disappear now with this attack. Disappear now with this great attack. The attack of these two beings would be impacting each other, causing the floor of the place to break completely. The walls of the palace were breaking by the pressure exerted by these two attacks. Goku, who was still being prey to the red rays, would say, This is incredible. Vegeta is able to withstand the great power of my guardians. But how is that possible? Maybe I use a forbidden power or something? I expected nothing less from you, Mr. Beerus. The power of that pill is very strong. But I don't know how long it will take for Vegeta to lose consciousness. When a person receives a great power through a strange object, there is always a consequence. Stop being so bitter, Wiss. Vegeta is going to win. He already has the victory assured. Besides, Goku is there without being able to do anything. Don't you think we should take this opportunity to finish him off? The collision of attacks was still present. Vegeta would increase his power to give more power to his attack. It's time for the Guardians to die. They should never have gone in my way. But when the attack was about to hit the two Guardians, they would use the Blessing of Light, thus increasing their power a little. Although the increase was not much, this increase was enough for the collision of these two attacks to end. The great attack would impact against the Saiyan. Vegeta would have been completely evaporated, thus being able to see the pill he had taken. This pill would be intact, thus falling on the ground. We warned you, mortal. You should never mess with the master. This is the fate of people who do not know their place. Beerus would be totally shocked. Vegeta was eliminated by the two of them, and now there's no trace of his key. He really died. Now how am I supposed to be the new king of everything? Damn, we're so close to achieving it. Damn you, Goku. If only Zenosama hadn't given you his power. Lord Beerus, stop lamenting. Don't you realize something very important? Vegeta has not died yet. Don't you see that the red rays that Goku has in his hands have not disappeared yet? The Guardians, very confident, will go to help Goku to get out of those red rays. But none of them would take into account why the rays were still present. They would simply let themselves be carried away by their instinct of wanting to help Goku because he was the king. Master, we have come to your aid. Right now we will remove these red rays. The pill that was on the ground would start to glow, so the lights coming out of it would turn a very intense red color. A scream would start to echo throughout the place. The scream would start to torment everyone present. The pill would rise to the sky, thus appearing Vegeta again. How dare you hurt my body? You'll pay for what you did to me! Vegeta, at an extremely fast speed, would give a blow in the face of one of these guardians, thus using the power of his red rays to leave him paralyzed but the Guardian would be released from these rays. Suddenly, the two Guardians would begin to fight against Vegeta. Although there are two of you, you will never be able to defeat me. Several minutes would pass where these beings would give each other several blows, but despite the time, the Guardians were not able to match the strength of Vegeta, since Vegeta changed his style of combat every second, thus being impossible for the Guardians to predict his next move. Vegeta suddenly would have created two giant hands of rays, thus hitting the two guardians. One of the guardians would have fallen to the ground, but the other would still be standing with some wounds. What's wrong? Are you resisting? Why don't you just drop to the ground like a fly? Vegeta would approach the ground in order to touch his head. He would unconsciously begin to absorb his power. The guard, with a little effort, would let go of Vegeta's hands. If I let him touch me one more time, I'll be finished. I must get as far away as possible. The guard would start to fly far away from there, but Vegeta would use his red rays again to create a chain with them. The lightning completely trapped the guard's leg. The pill that was in Vegeta's chest would start to glow again, thus creating a consciousness of his own. Because of the power he received from that guard, I need you to absorb the power of that guy. If you do it, we will have much more power. Although you do not believe it, my power has a limit and is running out little by little. The power that you use is the power that I myself have stolen from different very powerful beings. 
But in all my years, I would never have tried a power like that. Vegeta, who was pulling the guard's leg so that he could not escape, would have let go of him to start touching his head. Then he would scream. You'd better shut up. This power is mine alone. Besides, I don't take orders from anyone, least at all from a person like you. The being upon hearing the words of Vegeta would be very angry. Who the hell do you think you are to talk to me like that? If you became strong and powerful, it was thanks to my power. You are the worst thankful person I've ever seen. <laughs> and if it bothers you so much that I'm like that, why don't you come and face me yourself? The truth is that you can't because you're inside that pill. You're just a loser, so you better disappear. The being tired of listening to the words of Vegeta would begin to take control of his body, thus inserting small particles of lightning in his brain. But the will of Vegeta was very large. I will not let myself be controlled by you or anyone else. The people who were present would be very confused because Vegeta has stopped attacking. Vegeta has gone crazy, Wiss. What the hell's wrong with him? It's not like that, Mr. Beerus. The original pill carrier is making his presence known. Apparently, he was locked up in that pill. But since Vegeta is so proud, he's not letting himself be manipulated by the original carrier. Vegeta, don't be a fool. Let yourself be manipulated or else we will lose. Remember that everything depends on you. That god of destruction is absolutely right. Don't be so stupid and leave your pride aside. Don't fight a fight you can't win. Your body will be mine anyway. Don't you think we should make things easier? You're a bastard! Not even if you ask me on your knees am I going to accept that you control my body. Then you leave me no choice. I will do it by force. The pill would begin to leave Vegeta's body. The being would put his body in spiritual form, thus letting everyone see his true face. Vegeta would fall to the ground. Suddenly, much of his supposedly unlimited powers would have disappeared. But for some reason, he still retained some of them. Even if you leave my body, you won't be able to beat me. Suddenly, Vegeta and the Bing would begin to fight. While the two were fighting, Goku, who was being subdued by the rays, would have been released. Finally, those rays have disappeared. Now that I have analyzed all this, Vegeta's power came from that pill. Now that the pill is not in his body, his power has decreased a lot. I think this is the time to defeat him. If we don't defeat him now, maybe there won't be another chance. Goku, who was very hurt, would try to throw himself against the two guys, but in doing so, he would fall to the ground. Damn it! Even with the power of Zenosama, my body is not able to heal. I'll have to wait for some time. I don't like to depend on anyone, but I will have to do it for now. Goku would have called his guards, so they would stop Vegeta and destroy that pill. The guards who were a little hurt would throw themselves against Vegeta and the guy, but the guy, seeing that they were getting into their fight, would create a lightning field. The guards would try to enter this lightning field, but they couldn't. But even though they hit the field and the damage it did had almost no effect. Somehow the field was getting weaker and weaker. They would quickly start hitting it. Destroying this lightning covered field will take at least a minute. While the guardians continued to hit the lightning field, the guy who was in spiritual form would realize that he did not have much time left. Since if the guardians entered, they would be able to defeat him. Since he would not be able to use all his power without any physical body, and getting into the body of the Guardians would not be the best idea, since his body would be much more difficult to control, unlike the body of a mortal, which is much easier to control. Vegeta, who was angry, would throw several key balls at the guy, but he would deflect it with both hands. Suddenly, Vegeta would create a lightning spear in the palm of his hand. The spear would be about to pierce the guy, but the being would create a sword. <laughs> You have a lot of imagination to create things from my lightning. The spear and the sword would be fighting, thus clashing with each other, but it wouldn't take so many seconds, when suddenly the being would destroy the spear of Vegeta, thus stabbing the sword in his chest. Vegeta would begin to spit blood, while he began to agonize. I told you or not, I don't know why you tried to fight me. I told you that without my power you were nobody, and now you are going to lose your body. I never had to take that damn pill. Kakra, please help me. I don't want to lose my life. You dare to ask for help, you bastard? After all you did, just let me control your body. Vegeta's eyes would begin to close. The being, seeing that Vegeta could not move and that he had many internal wounds, would have begun to get back into his body. Vegeta would unconsciously take the pill again. His internal wounds would heal. The lightning that was scattered all over the place 
would return to the subject again. I finally have control of a body, and the best thing is that I control the body with the blood of a Sagan. With the body of this person, I will be invincible. Just before the Guardians broke the lightning cloak, the being with a single snap would have made it disappear completely. There is nothing you can do to stop me. Shut your mouth! Authority of the Guardian. A very great pressure had fallen on the subject, but the subject would nevertheless remain as if nothing had happened. What a pathetic technique. Even with that you can't defeat me. The two Guardians would fall prey to the subject's chains of lightning. Their powers would begin to be absorbed, but just before that happened, a blow would have made him back momentarily. A subject was moving at high speed, and then kicked him in the ribs. This blow had barely hurt the subject. Brothers, I've come to save you. Perhaps you two have merged to become stronger. Well, apparently I didn't realize there were more guardians missing. You guys are four in total, and I've been fighting two all this time. But no matter how many worms show up, they're all going to die anyway. A big ball concentrated with negative energy and lightning energy would be created in the sky. Damn it, if that were to hit it, it would be able to tear the whole palace apart. We have to do something. Brothers, don't think about it anymore. We have to merge the four of us once and for all. The Guardian, seeing that they had no other option, would have merged to become a single being. The great ball of energy would have fallen on top of this Guardian, but he would try to stop it with only one hand. His feet would fall to the ground by the weight of the ball of energy, but the fusion of the four guardians would manage to deflect the giant ball of energy, thus sending it far away. An explosion would be seen in the distance. Several planets with life inside would be destroyed in the blink of an eye. Several planets would be destroyed in the blink of an eye. The fusion of the four guardians would be very impressed to see such power of destruction. Thanks to that ball of energy, many people have died. No doubt we have to do something about it. A swift flash would fly close to the subject, spinning his body to deliver 18 kicks in the process. 12 of them would have been blocked and the others dodged. The guardian's fist would be charged with divine energy, thus launch the blow to subject, but before the blow could impact, the subject would have stopped the blow with both hands, and then punched the Guardian in the stomach. At that moment, thanks to the blow that gave Vegeta, they would have been left without air for a short period of time. The subject taking advantage of this would create a threat of lightning, thus tying the neck of the merger. <laughs> You'll die hanging by my lightning! But when the guy was pulling the lightning thread with both hands, they would put energy in their hands. But still, the thread was still on their necks, the energy of the fusion would be drained again, but they, as a last option, would create a portal to go to a planet called Kyria. This planet in the multiverse was a place full of water, where only marine species exist. You think that by taking me to this place you can do something to me? They would use mental power to create a giant sphere full of water, and the subject would fall into the sphere without realizing it. Cursed seal of a thousand moons! The seal would have appeared from under the water, thus creating a large prison, which contained the subject. There is nothing you can do now. We have won this fight. You think that with only water you can stop me? Don't be so naive. The subject would increase his power, creating small rays in his body. The water that was inside him would begin to shake so being able to evaporate. It can't be possible. Is he going to be able to escape from this water, even though all his powers come from those red rays? The seal of a thousand nights has never been broken! The concern of the fusion was noticeable. In a moment of desperation, they decided to move away a little, but suddenly, something would be about to happen. The water would begin to merge with the lightning. This would cause the powers of that being would get out of control. His own body would begin to burn by his rays, entering the cells of his body. Because I can't be able to control my power. Damn, he was able to escape. The guy, he tried to create different weapons with his lightning, but even that didn't work. Suddenly, a large part of his body began to carbonize. It seems that I've trusted more than I should, but this will not stay like this. I cannot die. I'm a being with unlimited power. The body of the subject would have disappeared, leaving the pill alone again. Our plan worked. Now we just have to take that pill and burn it completely. The Guardians were about to take the pill again, but it would start to glow again. 
thus resurfacing the being again. But now, it would have come back much stronger than before. His power grew again. This reminds me of someone. Maybe he could be a relative of that beast. In the past, he gave us a little trouble, but he had the same ability. This was the phoenix, but I do not feel any kind of elemental fire in his body. Maybe it has to do with the body of the Saiyan? As I understand, they have cells that allow them to become stronger. The more they fight and are defeated, no wonder that bastard chose the body of this person. But we can still stop him. I will use my power again as the guard authority. This should not have worked before because of my low power. But now with the fusion, it sure became much stronger. Guard authority, kneel before me. The pressure would have fallen against the subject. Damn, what's up with this suffocating pressure? I'm about to get my body back again, but my body forces me to kneel before a mere guard. This is so absurd. The guy, after a few more seconds, would recover his body again. I'm starting to get desperate. I need to move on my own. <laughs> I'm fine with you kneeling before me, just so you can see that even though you control someone's body, you are nobody. You're just a trash that can't live on your own. Stop depending on people. During the fight, I realized that as long as that pill remains intact, you will continue to resurface. But I have a plan to end your life. The fusion would quickly fly away from the planet to start using its powers to manipulate any planet. The planet would be lifted by the guard, thus starting it to rotate at high speed, and then throw it far away towards the solar system. The water planet would crash into the sun, but unlike the normal sun, this one was much redder in color and the flames inside it could burn any being without any problem. For some reason, it started to get hotter around here. That bastard wants to send me to the sun. I can't afford to fall here. The guy would purposely burn his body with his own wings, thus dying more than six times. With the power I got, it should be enough to get out of here. The guy would start screaming to try to break the seal, but when he was about to break it, the water of the planet would evaporate completely, and the seal would have disappeared on its own. Well, I'm really lucky, or maybe I'll be very unlucky. I'm just seconds away from crashing into the sun. Now, I have to concentrate all the energy I have, so I can move very fast. Although this is going to leave me with almost no strength. In order to survive, the guy sacrificed most of the power he got to fly at great speed. Time would have stopped for a few moments. That time was enough for him to escape, thus moving away quickly from the place. Well, it seems that I have finally succeeded. However, I must inform the master about this. The guardian would create the portal again, thus returning to Goku's palace. The subject without the guard noticing would enter inside the portal. Once inside, he would hide his presence as much as he could. Well, Mr. Beerus, it seems that the Guardian has returned alone, and I see no trace of Vegeta's body. I did not want to say it, but maybe we lost this fight. But I will not give up even so. I knew that the Guardians of Zenosama were strong, but I did not know that they were so strong. To defeat a guy who supposedly has unlimited power? What the hell happened in reality? Mr. Beerus, don't think too much about what happened. What we must do now is to leave here. If you face those Guardians, not even your Hakai energy will be able to help you win. You're right, Whis. We better leave for now. It's not worth losing my life now. Whis and Beerus would have flown away from there, but before they could escape, the guard would scream. You guys! Where do you think you're going? Thanks to you bringing that mortal, my master is badly hurt! No doubt you're going to pay for it. The guard was about to beat up that god and that angel, but Goku would have stopped him. There's no need to eliminate them. I'll see what I can do with them in the future, but they'll never escape their true destiny. Whis and Beerus would return again to their planet. Meanwhile, Goku. No doubt that guy was too strong. The best thing I can do is rest. I really don't feel very good. Everyone is betraying me little by little. I see that I never really had a friend that I can count on. Goku would enter the palace to be able to rest. The Guardians would have returned to normal. Since that fusion wore out a lot of their energies to the point of ending their lives, Really, if there was no enemy, it was not worth using the fusion. You guys keep an eye on the master while he sleeps. I'll be watching outside. Time would pass when suddenly, the guardian would hear a very strange noise. Whoever is there, come out at once. Do not force me to use force, because it will be worse for you. Quickly, a shadow moved in front of him, to then receive a kick in the head. 
which would leave him unconscious for a few seconds, but those seconds were enough for his body to be tied up by the red rays. The guard, who could not be able to speak, would see how a being with an unpleasant appearance approached him. Half of his body was made of bones, while his face was in a very bad state. I really had a bad time when you tried to send me to the sun. As you can see, the body of this mortal could not recover from that attack. I see that mortals have a limit. I am a person who likes revenge, and for making me lose almost everything, you are going to die. The rays would begin to shine, thus draining all his energy. The guard's body would begin to disappear. Vegeta's face would have returned to normal. My god, the power of that guard increased my power more than I thought. The murderous energy of that being would have been felt throughout the palace. The three guardians came out very angry. I see that I was discovered. Hey, don't play the fool. Where's my partner? And how are you alive? Don't you see his clothes lying on the floor? What do you think could have happened? The guard seeing this would launch himself to fight against the guy again while the other guards used their divine power to try to contain him. The palace began to tremble again. This would cause Goku, who was in a deep sleep, to wake up. Meanwhile, the guard was fighting without any kind of strategy, giving unsuccessful blows. With that kind of blows, you will not be able to defeat me. The subject would create two giant hands again with the power of his lightning, thus giving him a blow with both hands, which would make the guard crash into the palace. Hey, you two are wasting your time trying to use divine power. Damn, our power is useless. The two of them would try to throw themselves against the guy to save their partner, since he was approaching little by little to be able to observe his power. But when they did that, an energy barrier would have stopped them. There is nothing you can do, guard, if you just give up. Shut your mouth! Even a little bit, I have some pride. The guard would rise to charge a ball of energy in his hand. Before he could get close, he would be hit again in the head thus losing his life and consciousness at the same time. His power would be completely absorbed. <laughs> now I have the power of the two guards. Only you two are missing. Before the guy could approach, Goku would have stepped in front of him. Master, what are you supposed to be doing? We are supposed to protect you. You escape from here. If that guy manages to consume his power, the multiverse will be lost. I've told you a million times, my fighting style is not escape. That guy is not dead yet. My compatibility with Zenosama power is not strong enough. But I can't stay with my hands folded. Goku would use his mastered Ultra Instinct again. Master, I repeat, escape from here, please. Shut your mouths and get ready to fight. Goku would be about to fight the guy. When suddenly, in the blink of an eye, his guards would fall prey to the lightning. His power would be quickly drained. The being with unlimited power would rise into the sky, thus gaining almost omnipotent power. I never thought that the power of those four guardians would be strong, strong enough for me to resurrect and obtain my original body. Space would turn red. As a murderous intent and power increased rapidly, all the plants in the palace would turn dark. Goku would try to get away from that energy. The subject would have separated his spiritual body from Vegeta's body thus removing the pill from his body. Vegeta's nearly destroyed body would have fallen to the ground. The pill would begin to rise in the sky, while creating a tornado of energy. Goku, even though he saw the betrayal that Vegeta did to him, he would take advantage of the fact that the being was distracted trying to recover his original body, launched himself to rescue Vegeta. He would carry him away from the danger zone. Despite all the internal injuries he has received, his body is still alive but I'm afraid that if he wakes up, he will be useless. I'm afraid he will never be able to fight again. I don't know whether to eliminate him or not. No doubt his pride as a warrior will fall, but I should not think about that now. That guy is destroying everything in his path, and my power is not enough. <laughs>